What's up guys, it's Cage Unlimited. Today I have another video for you guys and this video is about Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key. Yes, I know it's been a long ass time since I made a video. I finally have time now. For some reason, it's always during exams I find time. Very ironic and weird, but because there's no school and I have breaks between exams, I find time to make a video. Now, I'm sorry if this video looks really janky. I have like, I'm recording with my phone. I'm holding it because my tripod just shit the bed. And yeah, so, and I'm sorry for the glare too. I just realized because I'm using a window for light. But today's video is about Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key. I thought it was pretty relevant since we're around the two year anniversary, like the anniversary month, I think. And yeah, so I want to talk about it because I realized uh, I spent a lot of time with Unchained Key, at least recently. And uh, I don't think I've ever given my opinions on the game of what I thought about it. The only thing I really remember talking about it is um, when I first started reporting on it, when it's first coming out. And I think I made a video here or there, but I don't think I talked about it you know, the, my actual experience with the game, so I thought it'd be fitting to give it, especially in the two-year anniversary. So, how I, I mean, what I think about the game, that's what I'm thinking about. What I think about the game, I really enjoy the game. I really like the gameplay. I think it's actually one of the better games of its type on mobile, like the gacha type where you, you know, pull for things, either it be metals or cards or whatever, where you gotta, you know, give kind of currency, you pull. I personally don't pay for anything, but that's kind of the way I kind of like to judge it. And I think Kingdom Hearts Unchained Keys are the ones that does it a bit better. It's not the best, it's not the worst, but in terms of actual quality of the app, I think it is definitely the best of what I've played. I've played maybe four or five types of apps, maybe more of these, of these type of gacha games where you gotta pull metals or whatever it is. And I think this is one of the better ones in terms of quality, because usually when it comes to the other apps they're very um on high quality the animations aren't refined the sound design isn't really that good the art is you know it's like th there's always some kind of roughness to it with unchained key you know everything when it comes to the art when it comes to the animation when it comes to the sound design when it comes to the gameplay everything about it i think is really refined and polished there's barely a hiccup in the game and i'm using a uh, iphone 6 plus which isn't the oldest of phones but isn't the newest either and it goes pretty smooth everything is really fine looking and even when i use my older phone the iphone 5s it was smooth on that too so it really is a good game you know it runs really well and i think it's good you know when looking at it that perspective when it comes to the actual game the gameplay i really like it again when it comes to these type of games i think it is the better ones because i think most apps when they make a game which is the gacha system they usually make it kind of the, the gameplay gets really repetitive and boring which with unchained key it isn't really that much for me with the way you have to you know strategize with your medals move them around upgrade them and if you're a kingdom hearts fan it really is you know worth it because you know all the characters you know like the effects and all that by reading it whatever and uh you're kind of motivated to play with it because of the story since the story is going to be connected to kingdom Hearts 3 and so on it really is a cool game to play now when it comes to like how i play it or what i've been doing in the game when it comes to how much i've played i've actually only played 110 ish days which isn't that much when it comes to two years but i think i started the game a bit late or i think i started like right when it came out then after a while I dropped off and then ever since then there's always like a period randomly where I start playing for like a week or two then drop off start playing for a week or two or drop off and I've slowly been doing that and I'm again at the point where I'm playing and I don't know if I'm gonna drop off in a week or not I don't think I am it is really fun right now usually I drop off when my you know classes start again and the times I'm actually playing is during break from classes or again my exam period a lot of people see exam period as a time of stress I kind of see it as the opposite even though you're studying your classes are gone so you have a lot more free time which is why I'm making this video and yeah so it it's really fun the game the events are cool they always keep something updated every day there's always something new or almost every day and i've been spending a lot of time like right now my sleep schedule is kind of screwed up so i've been sleeping at 2 p.m waking up at 8 p.m which is really weird so like it's it's 10 a.m right now and from 11 p.m to 8 a.m i was doing a raid boss challenge that's here right now because when you get to a certain level you could get mickey b which is the metal you need to uh give a dot to your metal so you can you know nova it so i've been doing that i did that to one of my newer metals which is vanitas tier 8 i'll have footage or a screenshot right now showing it pretty proud of it he's pretty strong i really like it and i've just been you know playing around with that the game i've just been doing things like that grinding trying to finish everything the coliseum finish the coliseum boards cross boards every week and it's pretty fun uh it's kind of hard to do the weekly challenges all of them all the time because usually what you do is you know you go out with your union get lux and things like that but my union is just literally me and my brother i don't have anyone else because i remember when 
the game was first starting on Twitter, there was a hype with everyone. They, they were all like, you know, making unions together and everyone was fixed on Leopardis, I believe. I don't know why. I don't know why everyone liked him. I didn't see what it was. I want to go with Vulpus. And I think it worked out, you know, based on the rankings every week. We kind of kick ass. Uh, it's not like we really add anything to it because it is just me and my brother. But because I have been doing the raid boss, I have amounted to a lot of luck. So, yeah, so... Uh, It'd be nice if we had more party members. If any of you still play and you want to be in it, uh, I am part of Vulpish. Just let me know in a comment or Twitter or something. I do use a different Twitter now, which is this, Just Zafa. I don't use Keisha Limited as much. Uh, th I just started using this one ever since I kind of dropped off making videos. It's more of a personal Twitter. But if you want to let me know, message me on any of the Twitter uh, on the comment or, or anything. Let me know. I'll probably let you in. There's really no bar of entry. I play when I want, when I can. Nothing too serious. Just have fun. So yeah, you can join if you want, but... Yeah, that's that's pretty much about the game. I really enjoy it. It's uh, really fun. What's more to say about it? All right, and since the dandelion meeting was, I think last weekend it was on Sunday. It was really cool seeing people go to it. I saw on Twitter that HMK and Edo were there, which is pretty cool. And uh, you know, it was a it looked like a pretty fun event. And I like the announcement that they gave. The well, one the, the announcement that I found most exciting was that they're adding seven star medals which is gonna be awesome and i think they said that you're gonna be able to evolve any metal to get there with the pvp mode they're adding so the game is you know constantly getting updates it's usually like i feel like around this point around the two-year point you know games usually slow down if they're not doing good kingdom Hearts unchained key i feel like it's getting better and better and hopefully it does really good i don't know like in terms of like the community if it's still that big because remember when it started it was really huge i don't know anymore because i'm not really with the community that much anymore i kind of kind of i kind of took a break from it and i kind of like stick up stick i mean I kind of took a break from it, I'm just not really with it anymore, so I'm not sure how big it is now. But to me, I really like it, so I play all the time, or at least when I get to, hopefully I keep sticking to it. So yeah, those are the thoughts on Kingdom Hearts Engine Key that I had. I really enjoy the game, I really like it, I just thought I'd give my thoughts because I never had given them before. And so let me know if you guys are still playing it, I'm really curious because I actually have no idea if people still play this in terms of like kind of the close community. I know it's still like obviously pretty big, you know, in general because the Dandelion meeting, a lot of people went there, but I'd like to know if in the community, if, if anyone still plays. And yeah, just let me know what you experience with it if you like it. And thank you guys for watching this video. I'll try to be more consistent with my videos. The main hard thing with my videos is to think about what I want to make in terms of videos a lot of my past videos that I've made were kind of for the sake of just getting videos out whether they're good or not which I really don't want to do anymore so I'm just gonna make videos that I really want to do and talk about so thank you guys for watching hopefully this video wasn't too bad with me holding the camera and you know kind of the jankiness but thank you guys for watching the video let me know what you think about the game and uh, see you next time okay okay okay